Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. By default, every row and column of a new workbook is always set to the same height and width. Excel allows you to modify columns width and row heights in many different ways. The first way to change it by using the mouse. To change the width of one column, drag the boundary on the right side of the column heading until the column is the width that you want. And to change the row height of one row, drag the boundary below the row heading until the row is the height that you want. For example, to modify the width of column number D, click between column D and column E between its headings. The cursor changed to double arrow. Click and drag to the right to widen the column D. You can see the measurement exactly is shown on the screen tip by pixels and to decrease the size of column D drag to the left and to modify the height of row number 2 click between the headings of row number 2 and row number 3 the line separating the cursor change it to double arrow dragging down will increase the height of the row while dragging upwards will decrease the height sometimes you see bound signs in a cell do you know what does that mean like in column B in this example, it means that the column is not wide enough to display the cell content. Simply increase the column width to show the cell content. The second method you can use to change the row height or column width to fit its content. And it is very quick. Just by double clicking with the mouse between the column headers, it widens the column to match the longest text inside the entire column. And the same for rows. By double clicking the line separator between rows headings. In this example, in column D, we can find long text is written and it is hidden because the column is narrow. Also for column C for the department. To widen the column to fit the longest text inside it, double click between the heading separators between C and D. The same for rows. If we widen row number 4 and we want to auto fit it to its contents, double click the line separator between 4 and 5. You can also auto fit from the ribbon. Click the format button on the home tab and click auto fit column width. Also for column B, auto fit doesn't do anything because it is already auto fit to its content. Column A Clicking auto fit will auto fit to its content. 
and you can do the same procedure for multiple rows and columns by selecting multiple rows then click auto fit this time we choose row height now let's mention the last method you can also set a column to a specific width just the type the value that you want also to set a row to a specific height by typing the value of the measurement for example to widen column E right click it and choose column width from the context menu then type a value greater than the current value click OK the column will be wide also for row 3 and 7 hold control while clicking on them right click from the context menu choose row height type a greater value like 30 the two height of the two rows will be wide also you can use the ribbon choose from the format row height and write a value again for the column from the format on the ribbon click column width then write the value you want to change the width of all columns on the worksheet click the select all button and then right click the columns heading and choose column width then type the value you want and repeat the previous procedure also for rows you can specify the column width by values from 0 to 255 this value represents the number of characters that can be displayed in a cell and the default column width is 8.43 and if the column width is zero the column is hidden trying to write a value for column width greater than 255 like 300 a warning message appears telling me that the column width must be between zero and 255 character So, this is the maximum width of the column. Zoom out to be able to see that huge wide. Undo this by Ctrl plus Z. And if we write column width, value is zero so column e is hidden and we can unhide this column by hover over the separator between column d and f until we see double arrows and double lines cursor click and drag then column e appears again also for the rows 
you can specify the row height from 0 to 409 and the default row height is 12.75 points and if the row height is 0 the row is hidden thank you for watching edupedia world videos see you at the next video